Hello everyone. In this particular video series, I'm going to walk you through the three biggest challenges that I see agents have with their pipelines time and time again, and not only what those issues are, but exactly why they're occurring and exactly how you can overcome them within the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, you may be wondering, who are you and why should I listen to you? And that's a fair question. My name is Mason Armbruster. I am the founder and president of Constant Closings, a real estate specific marketing company that helps our agents add an additional three clients per month to their bottom lines by putting leads through a three-stage qualification process before generating them an inbound phone call or appointment with that hot qualified lead. Now, being the president of Constant Closings, I have talked to tens and tens of agents every week for years now. And that's what has given me the ability to summarize the issues that I see agents have into three big points. Those three big issues are one, the pipeline does not exist. Two, there is some sort of inconsistency, either an inconsistency in quantity or an inconsistency in quality. And then the third point is there is a lack of control or scalability with said lead generation system. So in this particular video series, I wanna walk through those, those issues. And in this particular video, I am just gonna cover the first topic because the other two are important, but they are not a concern if you don't have a pipeline in the first place. So let's dive into it. If you're not sure whether you have a non-existent pipeline or not, because that's the big issue we're gonna cover here, the easiest thing to do is reflect back on the time that you spent in the real estate business up until today, and you ever remember a time in which you're riding a roller coaster of emotion, stress, income, or if you ever found yourself wondering where the next deal or where the next referral is gonna come from, that's a telltale sign that you have a non-existent pipeline and you have a little bit of work to do. So why is that occurring? First and foremost, it's usually one of two things. The biggest thing is that we're relying way too heavily on referrals. Now, don't get me wrong, referrals are great. I love them for our business as well. However, you have no control over when somebody is gonna refer you business, and that's why you're always left wondering, where the next one is gonna come from. And just like your investments, you never wanna put all of your eggs in one basket, and you don't wanna do that with your lead generation either. So that's the first big why. The other reason that it may be occurring is because of a mindset or belief issue. So you need to take some time to yourself and think if your mindset and your beliefs could be impacting the amount of business that you're doing and the lead generation that you have. Now, if you realize that as there's some sort of mental block uh, that's keeping you from taking the right steps and the right action steps to get these lead generation systems in place or just take the right steps in your business in general, there's a few books that I would recommend you read if that's the case. One, Gary Keller has The Millionaire Real Estate Agent. That's a, an amazing book. Uh, in addition to that, if you need some general mindset books, any classics like Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich or Maxwell Maltz, uh, his Psycho Cybernetics book, great, phenomenal book. Uh, you also have As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. All great books to help you get over those mindset hurdles, to know that you're worthy, uh, and not only that, but to put the right habits in place. Also, there's Atomic Habits by James Clear, another amazing book in terms of how to form the proper habits to take the action steps required to get you out of whatever situation that you're in now that you don't wanna be in. So those are the big whys. Now let's talk about the three things that you can do this week to make sure that those are never an issue again and you can overcome this hurdle of a non-existent pipeline. The first thing that you can do and that I would recommend you do right away is to go out in your area and form partnerships. Any partnerships that you possibly can with local lenders and other agents. These are win-win scenarios where you can refer each other business, it keeps everybody happy, and you have another source of lead generation. And not only that, but it's free. And again, it's a win-win for everybody. I would also recommend not only looking into local agents when it comes to partnering up with agents themselves, uh, also look at non-local agents as well. If you live in a particular area where people are relocating from a neighboring city City or a neighboring county, or sometimes across state lines, you want to reach out, partner up with some local agents in those areas too, so you can form a relationship. Again, a win-win relationship. It's free, costs you nothing, and it also will help you network and build your network in the real estate business, which after all, the real estate business is a people and networking business. The second thing that you can go out and do right away is partner up with an existing lead generation company. Now, this may seem very straightforward 
straightforward. However, there are different types of lead generation companies out there. And depending on where you're at in your real estate business, the easiest way to break this down there's really two different buckets of lead generation programs. You have your referral slash commission-based uh, programs where you simply pay upon closing, and then you have pay-per-lead lead generation systems. Both, again, have their pros and cons, so let's dive through those. When it comes to the referral and commission-based side, you have companies like OpCity through Realtor.com that can be great if you're starting out earlier on in your career. Now, the reason I say that is because a pro of using this is that there are no upfront costs with these type of lead generation services. There's no upfront costs, they operate as in a referral. The other great thing is there's no limit to the amount of them that you can sign up for. So if you haven't done so already, I would recommend going out and signing up for those services. Now, there are a few cons associated with that though. It's not all sunshine and rainbows because there's no upfront cost. You also have the cons of one, lack of predictability uh, because they are referral-based programs. So similar to receiving a referral from somebody else in your area, these programs oftentimes do not have the, the uh, amount of lead volume or lead flow that a pay-per-lead generation system would have. Not only that, but oftentimes these programs have shared leads. These are not exclusive leads you're receiving, not in all cases, but in most cases. The reason being, and you have to think about it uh, from the company's point of view, when you're signing up for a referral-based program, they're taking on absolutely all of the risk so that you do not have to. And that makes it great, especially if you're earlier, out in your, earlier on in your career where you don't have as much capital to invest in a paper lead generation system. So that's great that you have no upfront cost. However, with them taking on the risk, in order to minimize Minimize the risk and make sure that they have the highest chance possible of receiving that money back and for them to get paid, they only get paid when the lead closes. And so to maximize that chance of the lead closing, they often send that lead to anywhere from five, 10, sometimes upwards of 15 agents all at the same time. And you have to be the first person to click the button or the first person to answer the phone to actually receive that lead. The other con is that you may be graded. Uh, according to how many people you convert and how quickly you are answering the phone. Oftentimes, again, this company wants to maximize the chance that they will receive a return on their investment. They only get paid if that lead closes, so they wanna make sure they're working with agents that are quick to the phone and good at following up, and not only that, but are good at converting because that's what gets them paid at the end of the day. So just a few things to keep in mind. I recommend that anybody in the business, no matter where they're at, sign up for one of these programs or multiple of these programs right away because there's no upfront cost. Now, that being said, you have the other side of the coin with pay-per-lead lead generation services, and those can be equally as beneficial. On the pay-per-lead side, you have companies like Zillow, us here at Constant Closings, Bold Lead, Sale Media, all sorts of people out there. All of these pay-per-lead generation services also come with their own set of pros and cons. And depending on where you're at in the business, weighing out these options here, you can make a decision on what's best for you in the next day or two to sign up for one of these programs. Or at a minimum, start the research to start one of these programs in the near future. Let's start with the cons. First and foremost, you do have an upfront cost with these services. As the name implies, they are pay-per-lead services, meaning there is some upfront faith and investment involved in paying these individuals first and then receiving the leads latter. Not only that, but there are a lot of options. Being in the space for a while now, I can attest, and I'm a witness to seeing new real estate marketing companies popping up every weekend, it seems like. And with that in mind, it can take a lot of resources research to weed out the bad ones and really dial in and find the good quality lead generation services out there. So you should, when it comes to a paper lead generation service, you should do your research, an extensive amount of research to find out who those people are, what their track record is, and make sure that they have case studies, testimonials, and reviews to provide you so you know you're getting a quality service beforehand. Now, that being said, although there is upfront cost and some faith involved in these type of programs, there are pros that come along with that. One of the pros, and it's the same with the referral-based program we just talked about, is that there's no limit to the amount of lead generation companies that you can sign up for. So you could sign up for multiple, and oftentimes I will recommend people if you want, and you're, especially if you're going with lower tier options that are only like $97 a month. Now, those can have their own caveats because usually the lower the, the price point, uh, the lower the quality of the leads. However, um, if you're going with one of those lower options, it can be easy to split test. So you can choose two companies all at the same time, 
uh, and then basically run both of those simultaneously. And then after X period of time, figure out which one is giving you a better return on your investment. And you can kill the other one and move that budget over to pile up into the one that is performing better for you. And you can scale that over time. The other big pro about using a lead generation service like this is that it allows you to buy your time back. These pay per lead generation services typically generate a higher volume of leads and you have the option of them doing more for you. So they may not just be generating you contact information. If they're a company like ours, they will not just generate the leads and take all of the ad management off of your hands when it comes to the lead generation, but they will also take all of the filtering and all of the nurturing and qualifying off your hands as well. Well, uh, so that you can buy your time back to spend more of your time on your money making activities instead of being glued to your phone. So that's a great uh, pro of one of these services. So at the end of the day, I recommend partnering up with either of these. Ideally, go sign up for as many of these referral programs as you can. There's no upfront cost. And then in addition to that, start that research process with the pay per lead generation services because it'll offer you a higher volume and allow you to buy more of your time back. And lastly, you have the option to do it yourself. That means running advertisements on Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube, TikTok, you name it. There are a lot of different online platforms out there that you can use to advertise yourself to create your own consistent pipeline without having to rely on a lead generation company if you don't want to or if you want to do it in addition to partnering up with a lead generation company. Something that's also very simple to get up and running within the next couple of days if you're interested in doing so. Now, this do-it-yourself option does come with its own pros and cons, of course, so we wanna dive into those a little bit. Let's start with the cons. Of course, with doing it yourself, you no longer are outsourcing the management, so with that comes a lot of required knowledge and also a large time commitment. Running a successful ad campaign is not something that just happens overnight without the added knowledge from somebody else or the added coaching. So if you're learning to do it on your own, you may have to spend hours and hours researching online and watching videos on YouTube to be able to figure out an ad campaign that works well for you. Not only that, but this option, of course, does require some upfront capital you do have to actually toss out some advertisement spend on these online platforms to actually get your ads displayed. However, if you are doing this option, it can be more cost effective than partnering up with some lead generation companies that are uh, pay per lead based because you no longer have a management fee. You're only spending the ad spend, which is exactly what they would be spending as well. Uh, however, you're saving on the management fee. So you can see this last con as also somewhat of a pro as well. Now, taking a look at the true pros of doing it yourself, the first thing is the predictability. If you spend the time required to learn the skills you need to be able to actually produce a high performing ad campaign, it will give you more predictable lead generation and a higher volume of leads coming through, just like with the pay per lead versus referral based companies that we talked about earlier. In addition to that, you have much more control because you're actually the one running the advertisements. So you can take that knowledge and the time commitment that you've used to be able to run these advertisements and you now have full control over what those ads say, how they're performing, at what budget they're performing, and all of that stuff. So it gives you more control, more predictability. Not only that, it also gives you the opportunity for scalability. Uh, with one of these systems, if you're doing it yourself and you're setting up the advertisement campaigns on your own, you get to control the amount of advertisement spend that you want to use. So let's say you're throwing $500 a month at ads, and then soon you realize that's enough to keep you busy, but now you want to bring on another team member, then what you can do is just add to that budget to be able to generate more leads. Or if you want to start with $250 a month, you could start as low as that. Now, I wouldn't recommend it. The minimum I would recommend is $500 a month to make sure you have enough to split test and actually see some results from that. However, the point being, you can start at a lower price point and then work your way up and scale this lead generation system up as you need or as your team needs. So with this option, not only do you have better control and predictability, but you also have scalability as well because it gives you the opportunity if you are in control of your ad budget to scale up or scale down depending on whether you want to ramp up and have received more leads or ramp down and receive less leads depending on where you're at in your real estate journey either by yourself or if you're doing this for a team so that basically rounds us out 
with the three different options that you have to put in place within the coming days or coming weeks if you are suffering from a non-existent pipeline and you're just tired of riding that roller coaster of emotions and income level. Now, to recap everything we've learned today, if you're suffering from that non-existent pipeline, you can either one, get out there, meet other agents and local lenders and partner with them so that you have referrals coming in and no extra money out of your pocket. You can also partner with non-local agents as well. The secondary option is to partner up with a well-established lead generation company that has a proven track record of helping out other real estate agents successfully. And the third option is to do it yourself. Pick up Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or Google ads and give it a go on your own. Now, depending on where you're at in your real estate career is gonna determine which one of those solutions you choose. If you're a real estate professional who's closing less than 12 homes a year, meaning you're averaging less than one closing a month, then you're probably gonna to wanna to go with the, a combination of the first option and the third option. The first option, of course, networking, forming partnerships with agents and lenders in your area and also non-local agents as well in case they can refer you business for anybody that is relocated from their area to yours. The other yep. thing you can do, of course, is run ads for yourself, a very cost-effective method when you're first starting out in the business or you're a low-producing agent because you get to control how much money you put into your advertisement spend. Keep in mind, again, I recommend no less than $500 a month if you are going to be running ads for yourself, although it is possible you'll just receive less people than you may want. Now, if you're a high producing agent or just a higher producing agent who's already closing anywhere over 12 homes a year and averaging at least one closing a month or more, then at this point, your best bet is to go with the second option, which is to pair up with a lead generation company that already has a proven track record of doing it successfully for other people. Because there's two different scenarios. Either at this point in time, if you're a high producer, you've never run ads for yourself before. And if that's the case, the great thing about it is you can now leverage somebody else and you never have to put in or sacrifice that time, effort, or money it's gonna take for you to learn how to run successful ad campaigns on your own. And then you have the other scenario in which you're currently running ads for yourself and you are now a high producer and you wanna take things to the next level. And in that instance, this is also a great option for you because you can leverage somebody else's time so that you can gain back the only other resource that we don't get back. Um, and that is your time. So leverage somebody else's ability to take that off your plate so that you have more time in your day-to-day -day schedule to no longer be spent in ads managers running and managing advertisements, but to spend it on your money-making activities, such as networking, meeting people, listing homes, showing homes, and all that good stuff that you like to do as an agent. So now we know exactly what to do if we have a non-existent pipeline and how we can overcome that and exactly which one of those three options you wanna choose depending on where you're at in the real estate business. Now, with all that being said, of course, click the subscribe button if you found this video helpful and stay tuned to the next video where I'll cover the two next biggest hurdles you're gonna face now that you do have a pipeline in place. Now that we use the tactics in this video to create a pipeline, your next biggest hurdles are gonna be inconsistency and lead quality and inconsistency and lead volume. So be sure to click the subscribe button so and stay, stay tuned, tuned for the next video where I'll cover exactly how to overcome those two issues.